was supposed to go to TGS yesterday as well, but I didn't feel uh, very well at all. So I ended up uh, just resting most of the day. So basically, if you guys didn't know, I, like, I got like a cold. Um, and then I went to a Flow concert. So if you guys remember, and some of you were even there for the watch party for this. Uh, anime Shibari, which means they just play all of the anime openings they've ever done because it's like their 20 uh, year anniversary or something like that. And they had basically another one of those, except this time it wasn't in a big hall. It was just straight up in like a, in a, in like a, a concert venue, like a, a live house. I don't have any photos or pictures of that because in most Japanese concerts, they do not allow filming or, or take camera photos of any kind. At the end of the concert, uh, when they were like saying their goodbyes and waving around, the drummer for Flo, Iwasaki-san, he took his, it's one of his drumsticks that he used during the entire concert and threw it into the crowd. And bro, I fucking caught it. I caught the and it's like it's like it has like a his signature and stuff and it's like beat up because it was used. It's like this part's like peeling off too. After we got out of that, we went over to Kabukicho Tower and because it's Kabukicho Tower, most of the people there are either tourists or just normal Japanese degeners. It's all music that everyone recognizes. So then everyone's just like drunk and and like vibing and having a good time. And sometimes people like get up on stage and do, do dances and shit or like jump up and down. I don't know. It was, it's just fun. Like, it was this kind of vibe where everyone was like, like cheering for each other to get on stage and, and have fun and stuff. Here, give me a sec. He's just, dude, he's just, he's either like really into dancing or he's just drunk. I don't know what he's doing, but. Oh, he's doing like the otaku shit too. Usually it's just, you know, full of tourists or whatever, right? But when the DJ comes in, this guy fucking brought out pen lights too. And everyone's just vibing and having a great time, except for this dude. Um, but, because <clears throat> that guy doesn't know what idol is. But, okay, so so that's that's the overall vibe of the place. Maybe I can show you one more video before I show you wanna, what I really want to show you. Uh, she was kind of, she was a legend, dude. I think she went up and like, low-key freestyled a lot of this. <clears throat> when was this? This was, uh... Friday, no, Saturday night, yesterday night. So they, they always play like music that everyone recognizes because it's always throwbacks. Yeah, so so that was happening. And then, you know, you know, the classic had to happen. And I wasn't even drunk. I had no alcohol, but... Look at my fucking mask, dude. And then he did. They fucking played Koi. The other guy was just vibing. I don't think he knew Koi. I tried to get him into it. <laughs> Would you have done it without the mask? Yeah, I just didn't take it off. I was breathing really hard because it's hard to breathe while dancing in a mask. Now you can see my feet in this one. And not spill the beans? It's because I know I call it Andy's like part of my content at this point. Honestly, for for well, for him not knowing the dance, he vibed really well, the other guy. <clears throat> I was a little nervous to get on stage, Wakey, yeah. But if you just go I mean, with okay, if I, I gauge the vibe of the of like everywhere. I, like, I engaged the vibe of what the night was feeling like. If it was not as fun, I wouldn't have done this. Does it for free, but doesn't it do it for us? <laughs> what the fuck happened at the end there, dude? <laughs> I think that was David's video. Um, but yeah, so that happened, um, and then I went home. 
I did not drink that night because I wanted to rest. I went home, I slept, and today we went to TGS. We're in actual Tokyo, not GTMA. Well, technically, Tokyo is included within the GTMA, you know? <clears throat> so we're, you're also in the GTMA. Yeah, TGS is in Shiba. Because all the, uh, you know, the... Tokyo doesn't have space for convention centers, basically. So all the all the convention centers are in, in Chiba, or like in Yokohama or some shit. <clears throat> this is me at the beginning, I tweeted this. And then I took a lap around the venue, here's the Hoyoverse uh, booth with uh, the Star Rail and, and Genshin thing. Honestly, a little, a little off-putting, I'm gonna be real. But yeah, set was cool, stuff was cool, but as you can see, way too many people. There ain't no way I'm lining up for any of this. So uh, this would this would take me like over an hour of my time to be there. And this is like towards the beginning of the day. The line for this is already 50 minutes. Hell no. Here's the Square Enix booth, which is gigantic. They had some kind of panel going on. There's the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth thing. <clears throat> but as you can see, there's just this is at the very beginning of the event. There are so many people still. Like at this point, it's still walkable, but later on, it becomes like kind of unbearable. And then, and then they had here's the Twitch booth, and this is where I spent the majority of my time at TGS, um, just hanging out. <laughs> so as you can see, they 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 like, they they cycle through these portraits. So it looks like a zoo. So as you can see here, there's glass. Okay, this door on the right goes to this area with the glass anyone can just stand outside and like look in okay and the door on the left is towards like where the snacks and the coffee and the food and the drinks and the they had like arcade machines back there you could play um and like a photo booth where you can take a portrait so you, you know your portrait might be able to show up up here but on this side it's it, dude i felt like it was a zoo <laughs> i felt like it was a zoo man Cause you can like people, cause you can sit on these sofas and shit and relax in here too, but the people are looking in, and then the people are just you just look at the glass and everyone's just looking at you. I'm like, it felt like a zoo. So I I spent most of my time in the other area. <laughs> so they let you take a Polaroid photo and and so I saw Lizzie's is there, so I took a picture of that. Um, here's mine. Took a very Ellis photo. They had a they had a a, a, a coffee machine that you do latte and latte. Uh, that g or gives you a latte and then you can put the latte on this this other machine that's supposed to print out not print but like put the, uh, like a, a twitch design on it right my I, I pressed a button and it came out like this this is what mine looked like <laughs> it's so scuffed it just looks like a, a blob it's supposed to be a clear twitch logo it looks like <laughs> You can kind of see it. It's it's tilted to the it's tilted, so you, it's supposed to be a Twitch logo. <laughs> That's what mine looked like. You can kind of see if you interpret it that way. It's like it's like one of the psychology. Here's uh Yuri Yurina. If you watch the uh, if you watch the 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 crazy Japanese the um, Tanuki San karaoke party, you would know these two. This is Emi Taros, Emi San, and, and Yurina. Who, who are both there. Here's Shaka-san and, and uh, Jasper-san, who are two famous Japanese streamers. Here's Ken. But then th then they brought out, dude, they had these like Wagyu uh, beef sliders with the Twitch logo on it, which was, they were very tasty. Oh yeah, here's, Yuri, uh, here's Yurina and my friend Remy. Oh, and then, so I took a portrait, right? And then I was like, I didn't know he was going to show up so early, but this is like 20 minutes later. And then and then I, I went on to the, it showed up on the thing um and then i played jenga with all these fun folk a lot of these people showed up well her 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 or no, her her and her showed up to tanuki san's thing but as you can see dude look at this glass people are just looking in at you it, here's uh hina i don't know if you know her but she she's a pretty big streamer in japan and she holds her mouse he, she has like the most unique mouse grip i've ever seen so usually you like hold your mouse like this or you have a claw grip like this right she holds her mouse like this and plays and plays F fps's like this and then clicks with her thumb it's the most unique mouse grip i've ever seen and she's good 
Oh, then this Spikey is on. He's he's like a he's like gigantic. He's he's like super tall. Uh, he's a really really big uh, FPS streamer in in Japan, and he just wrote his message above everyone else's because no one can reach up there. He's fucking so big, and he lost a lot of weight since the last time I see him. Oh, he's Yunoshi, uh, but she's a really really big uh, Twitch Japanese uh, gamer streamer too. In fact, if you go to Akihabara and you, I think I forgot which shop it, it's like some esports shop that, that, or maybe it's Razor or something that sponsored her. She, you can see her her picture on like the side of some building. Did Josh take this video of me walking up to Shaka-san to get a photo? <laughs> he did. That's Shaka-san. <laughs> That's Shaka. Here's the photos with Shaka uh, and some Easter eggs in the back. You know she's there too. <laughs> this guy's like chain smoking, playing every game, and he's very good at him. Uh, here's this is funny to me because Emmy Sun's like there's like all these like, super crazy huge streamers, and Emmy Sun got onto it, so she's a big deal. Yeah, I walked around a little more, saw some more booths, but I didn't go into any of them because it's just way too big. Here's the Fnatic booth. Is that Boaster? Yeah, that's Boaster showing his ass. If you were wondering what Boaster's ass looks like. Oh, and here's me taking a video of me trying again with the, the Twitch logo machine. Except this time with like a macaron. And it worked! Yay! It worked this time. Drake's in the chat. Then I got a picture with Kasan, who's like a super big streamer in Japan as well. This guy was so funny. This guy's a legend. And then here's... uh. Izuji-san and Sayaka-san, who I met at the Twitch, uh, the crew, the, the, the on the ship, the, the Twitch uh, end of the year party last year. Here's Yurina. So uh, Kaho uh, Shibuya-san, so uh, Shibuya Kaho-san had like a meet and greet today, and then she went back into the, the lounge, and she just started playing this racing game by herself. And then Josh was over there, like taking video and picture for her. And then I got a, and then I raced her. I raced her after that. And then I tried to, to, to uh, let her win at the end because she wanted to get a picture of her winning. I like literally took my gas or my, my, my foot off the gas, but it, it wasn't enough. I still ended up winning on accident. Um, but it was a really close, it was a really close match because I, you know, it, it looked like a photo finish, but I ended up winning and I felt bad about that. But then I took a, a photo with, with uh, Kaho Shibuya-san. This is a random picture I took with Lizzy. Yeah, and then this is the last little couple of things before we left. And it was nice weather, and then this is Tanuki Sun and CEO Andy's uh, karaoke party stream. If you watched the stream, then you saw all of it kind of already. But if you didn't, uh, if you didn't, then let me see if I can pull a couple of videos from this. Dude, I got I didn't get Nihongo Jozud. I got Uta Uta Jozud. <laughs> Dude, this took a this took a plot twist turn, man. You gotta match the energy, man. You gotta match the energy. You need amazing energy. Yeah, she's a super dope person. <clears throat> and then I got, and then I got played at the end anyway. So we both just ended up loving Josh at the end. It was that was a roller coaster of like deceit, betrayal, and ultimately just mutual love from the both of us to Josh. So it was, it was quite, quite the you know. Yuna is a really good singer, so like we, we do we we're like planning on doing or like learning more duets and stuff. I said in Minecraft too. I got, I got cut. This is completely improv. I just want you to know this. <laughs> that turn completely improv. <laughs> this is completely improv. It's just pure, it's just pure like gauge energy. This is Su Chan over there, and this is uh, 
This is Yurina. Just vibing. Dude, I'm like so tired at this point. Here's me, Josh, Nicole, and Mitam. Afterward, on the, at the scramble before we go home. And then more and more picture- More and more people entered, the, entered this picture as we went. And then we just got everyone in. <clears throat> Here's the photo. There's Kanini. There's Kaniki in the background. Here's me in Chichibu. Like trying to figure out or trying to take pictures of these Anohana uh, wish plaques. And dude, I there must have been like a mosquito colony or like a fucking birthing area behind this or something. Because I got bit like 15 times in like a minute. So I'm like moving my legs trying not to get bit by mosquitoes. Did a little, did a little dance.